Okay, this is the piece that you've got the pictures of today, um, and it may well not look much different than last time you saw it, but just to say, since last time, well last night, because it's been on the back burner for a while, because I've been busy with class, this has all been done. Um, this has been done, and I've started up here. Now I still need, obviously, to do continue this, I want to continue this down here, that still needs to be done. I've got her flower here needs to be done and here and then I'm kind of still considering whether to add anything else um, in terms of doodles or stitch but that I'm thinking about that while I'm working on it so I haven't really made a decision about that but what I thought I would do today on camera is just put because the center of these this one was very big so it's got a um, padded applique in it but the other ones are quite small, so they've just got little web stitches as the centres. Um, and that's what I'm going to do this morning. Just do a little web stitch in there. Um, well, just because it's more of a post, isn't it, if you've got... Um, and if you're worrying now, if you're thinking, oh no, she's going to put that hoop over that stitch in, it's going to wreck it. It isn't, trust me. I do it all the time. And the secret to that is damp stretching. Um, that's for class um, so but that don't worry about it because you know it's fine I don't really don't worry about that so I'm going to do a web stitch on here I'm going to do it in the green I've just brought the green in that's running out I think I've got another skein of this now this is cotton abroader um, number 16 in a colour I've been using stranded cotton a lot and I still do use stranded cotton a lot because I already had a lot of it so I've been using it up in my embroidery but then I do love cotton abroad of 16 that's what I use my white is always that so I thought I'm gonna try some of the colors and I love them I love working with them so I'm gradually building quite a collection of those and um, I do have some 25s but they're quite fine I prefer the 16 I'm gonna use the 25s obviously but my preferred one is a 16 so if I just do and I'm going to put it off centre because I'd like to be off centre I don't like to be slap bang in the middle and it shouldn't take me too long but and then what I'll do with this when I work on this again I'll build this flower up around this web stitch this web stitch will be the starting point for this little flower so And you might think, well, she's not telling me what she's doing. Well, you know, I'm not deliberately trying. I'm tr deliberately trying to keep my mouth shut, which is a challenge for me. Because again, that kind of thing's for class, but that doesn't mean that I don't care about you. Because I do. Trust me, I do. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to have any classes. So, whether you do classes or not. It's still a vital part of my existence. Trust me, that is very, very true. So, hopefully it won't take too long. I always feel when I make something and it doesn't look much different, even though I spent hours on it, I always want to illustrate that the best way that I can because I would really hate for anybody to come here and think she's just rehashing the same old stuff I saw that last week or three weeks ago and it's no different because I don't do that so this is going to be a pouch and it's one of about five things I'm trying to get made I'm going on holiday in five weeks and it's one of about five things I'm trying to get made before I go to put in the shop um, and I keep thinking I want to keep this but I can't keep everything um, I mean I've got so many pouches anyway um, although to be honest I don't have one made in this way with the doodling and everything and the bright colours I did make one for a, a present for a new baby in the family um, so there is one if I ever feel the need to uh, but I'm not in there. If I ever feel the need to have a look at one of these I can just go around there and get a cuddle off the baby at the same time so it's win-win. 
Right, so that's done now, that web stitch. Um, so I just need to fasten it off. So when I start working on this again, I'll build up that flower around that web stitch and I'll show you one of the others I've done so that you can see how that might happen. You know, what kind of thing may well take place with that. So if I take it out, I took my pictures before I did that because the hoop always creases it and I hadn't stretched it last night. So, so here I've got a lemon web stitch to pull in. Okay, so there's a lemon web stitch and then there's a little bit of chain stitch. I've done running stitch around the outline of the petal and then I've put three brightly coloured bullion loop things. So that is what will happen with the other one. Okay, this one up here, again, like a purpley red uh, web stitch, chain stitch, more chain stitch, one loop, just one loop. I try not, I mean, I know I'm predictable in terms of the stitches I use, but how I use them, I try not to be predictable. And then run in stitch around that petal too. So, like I said, I'm giving this more consideration as I work on it in terms of putting more patterning on it. Um, it'll just come to me in a blinding flash. At least I hope it does. Or I'm snookered. Uh, my mind goes blank. I've got no chance. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm really looking forward actually to extending this. Because that is very relaxing to do. That kind of thing. Okay.